most important thing in ADMS is connection status for the time recorder. Right. Install in your premises. So after installation of ADMS and the time recorder, all you need to do is pointing the time recorder back to the ADMS and then after that log into the ADMS. What you need to do is go into this connection status to see all the connected time recorder in your premises. In this example we can see in this setup we have seven different time recorder in the premises. Some of them given a clock name smart AC some of them DL1 and then some of them don't even give the clock name. The device whereby they give the clock name is the own firmware devices. Okay, so the next what you need to do is comparing the user count. It's been total user in the clock versus the total user in your ADMS database. What you need to make sure is the value is the same after all the clock synchronized in, with each other okay in this case is 475 in the clock and then 475 in the database okay you can actually view the detail of the user by clicking the database by clicking the link shortcut here okay the next one is attendance count this means there is how many attendance records available in the clock and then how many attendance record in the database the same thing happen on the fingerprint count face count and fingerprint version face version and then what is the command outstanding you instruct to the clock but the clock haven't picked up from the ADMS when everything stabilizes, the value should be zero.